This is a real-time order flow study. That's, the, that's really the nice thing of it. This is a study, and it looks for divergences between price and order flow. And what's, what's nice about it, it, it offers a traditional signal-based method um, based on order flow to identify trade setups. So, so many people are conditioned, traders out, you know, out, me included, uh, you're, you're conditioned to want to uh, find just a signal, right, or a study that you can apply to your chart and it just shows you buy and sell signals. And that's because that's what the whole industry is literally geared on. And the delta divergence really solves, it does, it does apply uh, or meets that need. If you're looking for a, an order flow study or a study that's based on volume and order flow, um, but shows you a traditional signal, this is it. And it can be applied to any chart type. So you can apply it to candlesticks, as you'll see. I got, a, uh, I think, an example of it on candles. And then I've got one on a footprint. So you can, you can apply it however you want, whatever, um, whatever chart type. It's not just something you have to apply to a footprint. So I know quite a few people, that's actually how they run this, this uh, study, is on a candle. Um, and I like this say, it works best in non-trending markets. And that's because of how it's, it's really a reversal indicator. It's looking for reversals um, at, at extremes. And so a, a market that's trending you're not getting the reversals, right? It might pause and pull back, but then it quickly takes and puts in a new high or a new low, depending on which direction the trend is. And so um, in a trending market, and I'm going to show you an example, it gets, it, it gets run over. So here's today, uh, no, this was yesterday and then leading into today. This is obviously a candlestick. This is the NASDAQ. Um, I have these, this is a delta bar, is the interval type that I'm using. But the blue arrows, let me turn on my point, yeah. The blue arrows would be buys, buy signals, and this, the red arrows would be sell signals. So you can see it represents, it's very traditional in the form of a buy or sell signal on a chart, but it's based off of price, what, where price is and what the delta or the order flow is at that level. So to describe it, it's looking for instances. Let me go to the next chart because I think it, I'll come back to this one. Let me, let me go to one that shows, um, this is the one I want. What it's looking for, let's look at this one right here, this cell. This is crude oil um, today. This was this morning in crude oil. So you got a short signal here. The reason this, the pattern is it looks for a new high, new high of the day or new low of the day. And in the case of a new high, it's looking for a negative delta. So if you get a new high, so a new price high should be confirmed with positive delta, the positive correlation. Um, to confirm that new high. When that doesn't happen, that's what triggers the signal. And that's what you see. So what I have down here is this delta. It's just showing us the delta for each bar. So it helps me explain this signal. Um, but let me go back a couple slides because I want to make sure you see. This was, the, this was um, yesterday and then I think Friday. Yep, I'm not including the overnight session here. And so you can see this market opened, it opened right here. I usually tell people you can just ignore the begin, the opening signal because there's no data, to, it's, it's always a new high or new low for the day right at the open. But notice this market just opened strong down, just boom, boom, just kept, kept going. And notice, you get these, when you get this, this is a re, it's looking for a reversal in order flow. So it's a new price low. This would have had a positive delta on this bar. I don't have it showing at the bottom. But the idea is you're looking for a reversal. So one of the beauties of this, of this study, when it's wrong, you know you're wrong quick. There's no messing around. It was looking for a reversal. If it doesn't happen right now, it, you get out of the trade. So the risk. Um, let's go to this one. If I got, 
if you get a signal here to buy it, you're, you should stop yourself out at the low of the bar or somewhere just below it. You don't turn this into a big long trade that you're going to hold it because you're going to get run over. And I usually tell people, three strikes and I'm out. If I get three losers in a row, I'm, I figure, you know what, this, this looks like a trend day if I haven't already recognized that. And I not look this study, I'm not going to apply the rest of the day. Now, eventually, you're probably going to catch a nice reversal. But it's a matter of how many times do you want to um, be wrong before you're right. And everybody's going to be different on that. But I just use the three strikes and I'm out rule. And I'd rather at that point say, you know what, looks like we're in a strong trend day. And look for looking not for reversals, but uh, trading in the direction of a trend. Okay. Um, and this can be used with other studies. I obviously don't have anything on here, but you could use it to complement other other things. I know guys that use it with um, pivot levels, Fibonacci's, or other studies that they've coded up. So I want to move on. Here it is applied to a footprint. Here, this this was this was crude oil. Same same chart we were just looking at. Um, but now it's on a footprint. So you can see I've got it with uh, the edge zones on here. And so um, the nice thing about this is you could actually use it. For instance, if I had gotten a signal here, a buy signal. Now we didn't, but it would be neat if you're using it alongside edge levels. You got a support. You get a, a delta divergence patterns or buy, and you can use it. You could you can use it in conjunction. 